A latent man is asking UDOT to make safety improvements after a chunk of ice crashed through his windshield. This is actually the second case of this happening that we're hearing about this week. New specialist Mike Anderson has the story and why UDOT says there's not much they can do about it. Scott Lassner was heading northbound here in Layton when he says a chunk of ice burst through his windshield on the passenger side. Luckily, no one was sitting there, but he's concerned that it could be much worse for someone else the next time. It was a typical drive, no sign of trouble around 3 p.m. I was in the HOV lane. Scott Lassiter says he had no warning as he passed under the HOV sign near Antelope Drive. There was apparently a whole bunch of snow and ice on that pole behind the sign. It fell off as I was driving under. No way to prepare for it, no way to even react. Came right through the windshield. He says it only took a second for the chunk to bust a hole through the top of his windshield. Blew my rearview mirror off and all, all the stuff on the ceiling it was all down in the seat glass everywhere and to show for it he's just got the pictures along with about a two thousand dollar repair bill that his insurance covered if i had a dash cam that recorded my own reaction i wouldn't want to play it for you <laughs> but you may remember this dash cam we showed you tuesday night near 7200 south another chunk hitting marcin karpinski's windshield UDOT's response back then. Such an unfortunate incident, um, but unfortunately because it's not something that could be predicted, it's an act of nature, it's not something that would be covered by UDOT. And UDOT spokesperson John Gleason says the response today is the same. He adds that these things are very rare and that it would be too cost prohibitive and disruptive to the traffic to clear each of these signs after every storm. But Lassiter worries. Who knows, it could be a lot larger piece of ice that falls in somebody's car next. That it may be too costly to do nothing at all. It's going to cost them a lot more when it kills somebody. And these two incidents actually happened within a day of each other last month. Both drivers have filed claims with UDOT, but so far the word from UDOT is that uh, they simply don't cover these types of rare chance events. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.